Easy to say, so these videos pick deal 62 for no protection. I'll be weak, sent me. <laughs> Did he now? Still tinkering with his broom upgrade, no doubt. I tried to help him once. He nitpicked my flying technique, and that was the end of that. The nerve. Why is he roping you into his broom testing silliness? You've barely started flying from what I know. Caught wind of you showing off in flying class with Clopton. Hey. I don't know what people have said, but I certainly wasn't showing off. Tell that to the rest of the school. But it doesn't matter. Everyone knows that class is only for beginners, troublemakers, and bumbling baboons. But for some reason, now people think you're competition. Ugh, I can't be having that. Perhaps I am competition. You're not even Slytherin. Could be a useless squib for all I know. Enough of this. Only one way to find out who's the better flyer. I hold one of the fastest times on this course. Let's see if you can beat it. Slytherin versus Ravenclaw. Can you tell me more about these courses? St stalling, fifth year. Fine, I'll humor you. This course demands focus. Requires you to anticipate speed and height before every turn. The others test stamina. Three courses in all. Built ages ago by former students. Since Black cancelled Quidditch, it was these courses or nothing. I made them popular again. Got the whole school hungry to compete. So, let's see what you've got, fifth year. Actually, why not? I can beat your record. I'm so looking forward to seeing you lose. Nou, dus tijdens race vind ik eigenlijk niks, maar ja, het moet uh, toch gebeuren. This is rather fun. Brilliant. Ja. Dus is van kloten. De boos heeft veel te veel boeven namelijk. Hoe ze hebben ze eigenlijk niet neergezet? Dat was echt van geluk. Dat ik die nog op tijd had, want ik ging met de boost helemaal verkeerd. from one single trial. Surely my win means something. Uh, you're not terrible, but you're still going to have to prove yourself if you want to earn my respect.
Challenge accepted, then. Perhaps you have what it takes after all. We shall see. But don't get your hopes up. The next course near Irondale offers a much tougher challenge. You can try to prepare by racing this course again. Just check in at the podium, where the leaderboard is. You can check your time and start the race. We'll see next time if your win here was more than just a fluke. Whilst on an errand for Albie Weeks. I have not new. I suspect Mr. Weeks will be glad to hear how I fared. Oh, you're back with something to report, I hope. Mr. Weeks, I was able to set a record on my broom. Incredible! Miss Ray's must have been shocked. Tell me, how was the broom? A little turbulent, and it's wanting for a bit of speed, but it fared well enough. I will say that it tended to drift a bit to the left on certain turns. Heard a slight swoosh when I dipped. Oh, thank you. Hmm. That's precisely what I needed to know. Drifted, eh? I shall get to work immediately. Even the naysayers will be forced to admit that my work's had potential all along. Why would anyone doubt your ability to upgrade brooms? No, oh, you'd be surprised. People get set in their ways. Worry that fiddling with what's working fine will somehow ruin it. <sighs> Those people don't appreciate the sense of freedom that comes with quality broom flight, nor do they appreciate all that's involved in the creative process. I have a friend in Rome runs a shop like mine, says it's worse there. <laughs> of course, they do nap in the afternoons from what I hear. And where would we be without enhancements? I mean, if Elliot Smethick had let the naysayers get to him, we would never have had the cushioning charm. I don't listen to him. I'm excited to hear more. I have a very good feeling about this upgrade. I guarantee you'll be pleased. Expect to hear from me soon. Hmm. How to address the issue of altitude as it relates to speed? Ik zie dat vandaag klaar volgens mij. Ik heb er hier nog twee.
again. I've got spectacular news. The broom upgrade's ready. <laughs> Stop by the shop when you can. Up a whole field is being terrorized by Ranrock's loyalists. I couldn't help but overhear. Did you mention Ranrock's loyalists? I did. <sighs> Never imagined they'd act this deadly. I'm Claire Beaumont, by the way. Nice to meet you. Ranrock and his followers have set up camp here. No regard for our beloved hamlet or our livelihoods. Ruthless. My brother Bardolf dared to stand up to them and ended up in St. Mungo's. Simply at my wit's end. How did your brother Bardolf end up in St. Mungo's? <sighs> Bardolf had spent the entire day hand-picking herbs and roots for us. When a group of Ranrock's lot appeared and demanded the harvest for themselves, Bardolf refused. In their anger, they held him against the rock and robbed him. The moment he left St. Mungo's, he vowed revenge. I worry he may be dabbling in magic that he will one day regret. You said Ranrock's loyalists have set up camp here. Where, precisely? To the south, across the river. Last I heard, there were several loyalists in each camp. I won't go near them. Why don't you simply leave the area for now? Upper Hogsfield is my home. Baldolf and I grew up here. No, we are standing firm. Once my brother returns, then we shall decide what to do next. Oh, I do hope my brother is all right. I am unfortunately quite familiar with Ranrock's loyalists. Perhaps I can do something. Much as I would love to be rid of them, I wouldn't want you to risk injury or worse. Please be cautious. Oh, that I'm going to the blue house. Best be on my guard. Okay, now I have another chance here, and then I'm going to go back to the winkel. Ah, I can't even use it. I see. I go apart. Dat wordt er gemaakt. How nice of you to stop by. One of Ranrock's camps, exactly as Madame Beaumont described. Oh, kunnen wij die naartoe worden?
Det är en nyklär till staterin och du. Det är så pass klärt. Your blood's on Ranrock's hands. Men det där var klar var det. Det var det stånd för gången och gången. Av det lite misschien vanuit en annan gebied in uit. Det kan ook nog. I do miss the bustle of business. Hello, Madam Beaumont. Good news. I was able to clear out Ranrock's camps. You cleared them out? How? I managed to catch them off guard. When my brother returns, this news will mean the world to him. You saved our hamlet, my young friend. This will not be forgotten. I fear for other hamlets, truly. Ranrock and his lot are unlike any goblins I've ever seen. I should be going now. Thank you. Bardolf Beaumont should have returned by now. Excuse me. Did you say something about Bardolf Beaumont? Oh, hello again. How nice to see you. And yes, I did. I was just worrying about Claire Beaumont's brother, Bardolf. Only he's gone missing. Rumor is he was seen in the forest practicing dark magic. Saw him myself near some ruins with Rookwood's lot I did. I fear he got himself into trouble with the Ashwinders, especially if he made them a promise he couldn't keep. Shame, really. With Ranrock's camps cleared out, I have a feeling he'd have given up on dark magic altogether. Why would Bardolf want to get involved with the Ashwinders? Oh, he had a terrible run-in with Ranrock's loyalists. Changed him. He vowed never to feel powerless again. I think he sought the Ashwinders out to learn their secrets. Do you think Bardolf may have simply run off? No. 
Bardolf's run that shop with Claire his entire life. He'd not give it up for anything. He swore he'd be back in a fortnight. My instincts so that he's been held captive, or worse. I can certainly look out for him. Any help would be appreciated. You might speak to Claire first. Perhaps she has some insights that I don't. I can tell you that Bardolf was last seen in the forest wearing a particular woolen jumper. One that Claire knitted herself. Claire will be at her shop if you'd like to speak with her. Ik had er eerder met haar gesproken. Voor een andere missie. I should investigate. Oh. Hallo, bezem. Ja, ja dank je. Mijn okay, cape doet een beetje buggy, maar ja, het is. <laughs> Ik heb dat inderdaad wel normaal, dat is mijn cape. Ah, dat is geen cave, het is in een mantel trouwens. Ik heb de vogel ook gegeten. Ah, zij ook veranderd. Ja, dat is ook veranderd, dat is een monster. Oh, ik do hope my brother. Madam Beaumont. I believe I have some news of your brother. Bardolf? What do you know of my brother? Is it? I regret to say that Bardolf had been turned into an inferior, and I had to kill him. What? But, but how could you possibly think that an inferior was my brother Bardolf? That's absurd. He was wearing a woolen jumper, hand knitted. <gasps> no, no, this can't be. <sighs> I'm truly sorry. I wish it had been better news. I wish you well, Madame Beaumont. <laughs> what more could I have done? <laughs> oh, Bardolf. Rebellion. Oh, is it better? Now I'm going to play some of the cards. But there's nothing in the boots and also. Naar de restaureren. Ik weet niet of ze die uh, daarmee bedoelt. Oh, dat was een hemd uit. Anders zou ik flink fall damage. Dat was ik sowieso dood gegaan.
Thinking in terms of good and evil merely indicates a limited imagination. Rebellion. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, I'm gonna enjoy this. What XP? Let me out so. Let me out so. You lost guys. A day of the day, a day, yeah. That's what I'm about. Ik weet niet hoe ze het voor elkaar kregen om hier te blijven staan. Ik weet ook niet hoe die zak komt bij hier. Even kijken, leeft er nog één hier of zo? Twee. Ik zie dat we door de deur ingingen. Ik Oh, that's so it. Stop right there. Or I'll make you stop. Oh, that can't be. Ik vind het wel genoeg voor de deel. Ik hoop dat jullie het leuk vonden. Vergeet niet om te liken en te abonneren.